This is the JJO Morning Show Podcast with Johnny and D. Listen, rate, subscribe. Well, I have a story about bees, but this is the closest song I could batch. Yeah. The rhythm you're supposed to do CPR to. Um, okay, so anyway. Really? Yeah. I've never heard that before. Yeah, it was on an episode of The Office. So and that it's beat? Actually, yeah. Staying alive, staying alive. Uh, 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 uh Compression. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, it was on an episode of The it, Office, it, it, and it's literally saved like four people's lives. It's going to be sad if the person I don't save the life of is hearing the last thing they hear is me singing at a key, staying alive. Okay, I know you're not a huge fan of The Office, but you need to watch the one where they take the CPR class. No, I love The Office. It's so funny. I just haven't watched enough of it. Yeah. I know, I love that show. Okay, uh, this is a wild story, so strap in. A toddler's persistence about monsters in her bedroom led to an unbelievable discovery in the family's 100-year-old farmhouse. What do you think the discovery was, John? <clears throat> oh, where's my trivia? There it is. You say there was a Mexican family of four living under her bed. Undocumented family. You know? Uh, I hate it when you're well rested. Uh, f- final answer. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. I knew I should have called in today. <laughs> yes. I could have done it by myself. <laughs> uh, Ashley Missy's class, uh, who goes by class Ashley on the TikTok machine, tried to reassure the oldest of her three kids when she first started reporting there were monsters in her room. She was saying she heard monsters in her bedroom wall, but we'd been watching Monsters, Inc. She was a little speech delayed, so when she tried explaining it, we thought she meant there were monsters in her closet. To reassure her, Ashley and her husband tried everything. We told her nobody's in that closet. We made jokes about fighting the monster. We gave her a spray bottle full of water that was her monster spray. Then the toddler started to have night tears. She was just freaking out. She had to stay in our room, and she kept saying there were monsters. We thought, in part, that she was experiencing a little regression since I just had a baby in February and was pregnant, and uh, and she was, you know, whatever, tired. Uh, a few weeks ago, Ashley and her husband noticed a few bees entering their attic. Oh, jeez. Since they lived in a 100-year-old farmhouse, they decided to get ahead and call a pest control company. Once they were informed there were honeybees, they had to take a different approach. The pest control company told us that they were honeybees, probably just looking for a place to say they don't spray them because they are endangered. So that took me down this whole new path. A couple thought it would be as simple as contacting a beekeeper and patching the hole they came in through. But. But. That turned out to not be the case. Mm-hmm. Beekeeper after beekeeper was like, no, they're not in the house yet. They drilled up a hole in our attic, said they didn't see anything. It wasn't until a beekeeper actually sat there and observed that he was like, okay, uh, so I see them going down into the floorboards of this unfinished part. Let's see where this wall runs down. Underneath there directly is my daughter's room. Uh-oh. The beekeeper came prepared with a thermal camera to assess the situation. Oh, no. But no one could have predicted what they would discover. Family of five. At first, I thought it was a body. I was like, what is that? And he says, <laughs> I think it's a hive. He didn't even have his bee, bee gear on yet, but he took a hammer and knocked into the wall. Bees came swarming out like a horror movie. Oh, no. There were streams of bees, and the wall where he hit it was oozing honey, but it looked like blood because it was really, really dark Are running down my daughter's pink walls. freaking kidding me? <laughs> the beekeeper acted fast, shutting the door and getting into his gear. He informed Ashley that they had to open up more of the wall to understand the extent of the situation. He opened up the wall, and it was one of the biggest hives he's ever seen in his 40-year career. 50,000 bees swarming like crazy in my daughter's bedroom. It was a nightmare. They were dropping honey everywhere, all over her stuff. The first day, the beekeeper was able to remove 20,000 bees and 100-pound chunk of honeycomb. 
A thousand pound chunk of honey. A hundred pound and twenty thousand bees. That's got to be a record, doesn't it? We sealed out the room and he came back the next day. He took out another twenty thousand bees. <laughs> now the hole in the wall is covered by plastic and we still keep getting bees coming in. Now we're a bee factory. We think there are another twenty thousand bees. So he's coming back, anticipating r- removing another twenty thousand. Ashley made sure to let her daughter know that the monsters were being taken care of. We told her we found the monsters. You were right. Then we introduced her to the beekeeper, and she was like, no, he's a monster hunter. So she called him Mr. Monster Hunter for the rest of the day, which is pretty cool. Beekeeper even showed her not to be afraid. Uh, He let himself get stung so he could uh, let her hold one and not be scared and all that, right? She saw the huge bee box and heard the buzzing and was like, absolutely not. (laughs) Still a lot of work to be done. It's about 20 grand in damage. So they have to seal everything back up and patch the tiny dime size hole that they got into. That's so wild. 20,000 at a time. Listen, so yeah, about 50,000 bees. They could have swallowed her, entombed her like the alien movie with a little girl that had to wrist locate her on. Yeah. <laughs> Where's our daughter? So they did find the queen and they moved the bees to a bee sanctuary. The queen was the size of a. Was a of a midget. Yeah, we've had a couple of thousand that died because their queen is no longer here. So that's sad. Oh, uh, we've been leaving the window open, hoping the remaining ones fly out, but many will die without being able to smell the queen. No kidding. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That is crazy. So I mean, they saved fifty thousand of them. So what are you supposed to? That's amazing. Uh, there for a minute when you said fifty thousand, I thought you were pollen my leg. Uh. You need to buzz off. I'll just wing it. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That one stings. Okay, hold on. Uh, then I so I posted the story, and other people were sharing their bee stories. Don't 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 talk to me anymore today. I want to be alone <sighs> with my thoughts. Uh, oh my God, that happened to a friend of ours. He heard something in the wall and started pushing on it, and his hand went through the drywall, <laughs> and he pulled it back out, and it was full of like, bees. Mm, 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 this is delicious. <laughs> mm. It's a haunted house full of honey. Mm, 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 mm. Um, That's right. insane. I was at a house in Janesville years ago. The homeless lady said she heard a low hum for years. They thought it must be the home oh, the no, lady that, whose home it was. That was your mom. They thought it was electrical, but nobody ever found anything. Then the drywall started looking wet inside the house, and it was honey Are you oozing serious? through the drywall. How crazy. I mean, I mean, you know, if you've got a bee problem, make honey. I mean, you know, I don't know if that qualifies. Nah, forget that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. <sighs> Well, that's funny because that's the favorite bees band is the Bee Gees. We just played that yeah. a second ago. I know. We've never done a, a story where the Bee Gees applied twice. So I'll always remember this. We'll always have that together. <laughs> I'd like to have less together. <laughs> How do we do that? I'll leave. <laughs> Dumbing down your smartphone. One podcast at a time. Listen, rate, and subscribe. To the JJO Morning Show Podcast. Get up with Johnny and D. JJO. Are you doing your thing here? Yeah, what are we doing? Didn't you want to do your bingo thing? Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. All right. we fill, I filled out my Mifflin Street uh, block party uh, bingo card on Friday, and we put it in an envelope. Mm-hmm. And then... Said we're gonna open it and we'll see how many uh how if I can make bingo. Okay. So uh so open So I should do this first before you read the story. You should open your envelope. All right. You want your music? Yes. <laughs> I have the envelope. I have the Mifflin Street Block Party bingo card I filled out on Friday. Uh, We're going to see how many uh, we've matched uh, going into before the party Saturday, which turned out to be a disaster of somewhat. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I I don't know if it's any better or any worse, but I mean, you know, all the the things you expect happened, I guess. Uh, I had... And starting in the top left of my bingo card, porch collapse. 
Oh, yeah, every year. Okay. And then uh, in the middle center top, I had gunfire. Yeah. Uh, right, right top left, I had, this is a weird one. And I don't know if you can verify it. You'd have to drive down there. Piss River. Oh, yeah, I, I, I can't verify that. Can we assume there was a Piss River? Sure. <laughs> There's a little rubber duck floating down the Piss River. And then in the center left, I had uh, Chase and Taze. You're missing some spots. Well, no, and in the middle, I had free alcohol space. Oh, there, it's you got three by three. Yeah, it's three by three by three. That's not a very hard bingo card. No, no, it's pretty no. Easy That's to bingo I'm, I'm hoping to sound like a, <laughs> like a, a Nostradamus here. You know, I want to hit. I want to hit one. Okay. So then, in the middle left, I had Chase and Taze, and then the center bingo is free alcohol space, and then I had punch a police horse. Oh. Don't know if that happened. And then in the bottom left, I had tear gas. Oh, jeez. Don't know whether that happened. We're going to find out. And then in the bottom left, just because it's ideal in reality, I put sexual assault. Oof. God. And then in the bottom right, I had uh, car fire. Okay. So porch collapse, gunfire, piss river, chase and taze, punch a police horse, tear gas, sexual assault, and car fire. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's Are you see, ready? Let's see what we did. Now yeah. let's play Mifflin Street Bingo Party. Less of a bingo card, more of a bin card. Because you just yeah, have B-I-N. I didn't do My follow-through sucked, but it was... It's okay. Friday, and I wanted to go to the bar, so I didn't, yeah. do, I didn't do a whole No, lot. no. We can work with this. All right, I'm going to highlight with my yellow marker if I hit anything. Do you have a yellow marker? No, I do right here. Oh. All right. So, give me the good news. Who's highlighting anything in here, for Christ's sake? Uh, Madison's iconic Mifflin Street block party was held over the weekend. You got to fight for your right to party, dude. With more than 80 individuals finding themselves in handcuffs. Uh, <laughs> is that better or worse? Uh, the annual event, which draws thousands to celebrate the end of the academic year, was okay. overshadowed by incidents of disorderly conduct. Oh, I didn't have disorderly general conduct. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's a given. Would that? Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's the theme. It's There's just... always disorderly there. All right, cool. Uh, according to Madison Police, the chaos included an officer being hit by a vehicle. Oh, you're so close. Okay, I'm going to put punch a police horse. That's not the same. You're uh... so close. An officer being hit by a vehicle and a group of people flipping over a parked car. You're uh, so close. A, a car fire, I'm highlighting it. I don't care. I'm highlighting car fire. Yes. Despite these incidents, partygoers say that the majority of attendees were well behaved. Uh, okay. Uh, Noah, who's a sophomore at UW Madison. God, you guys. <laughs> Hosted one of the gatherings on Mifflin Street. He, you, you guys want to go stand over there in that piss river? <laughs> God. I did not hit that button. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't hit that button. Oh, dude. Uh, anyway. The ghost of Andy Witt is in here pushing buttons right yeah. now. Yeah. So believe. Noah, who hosted one of the gatherings, says his goal was to maintain a positive atmosphere. I thought that was a girl, not a guy. Sorry. It might be. <laughs> I thought you just said he. Um, oh, whoops. Oh, yeah. It so, says his goal. Sorry, We're no. assuming genders. Yep, yep, yep. It's a big community effort. I've seen people cleaning up and having trash bags, and it's really helping a lot to make sure the neighborhood stays clean. Uh, all right. Safety was a big factor in our hosting, and we tried to make sure everyone was friendly and trying the best we can to spot out people who might be more dangerous. How you doing that, Noah? However, not all attendees followed the rules at other house parties. Video footage captured a group of individuals... Flipping over a car. Yes. Ve- vehicle's owner has launched fire. a GoFundMe campaign to cover damages, which mentions that they are infuriated and have a mix of emotions on what happened. Obviously, there are some students that go way overboard, said another sophomore. I don't think their actions should be put on the student body because most people are just trying to have a good time. The bulk of arrests were related to minor alcohol-related offenses, mm-hmm. with at least six individuals being booked into Dane County Jail. Anybody get their neck kneeled on? No, just wrote them a ticket. Yeah. I just right, the enough. driver of the car that hit the Madison police officer received four citations and remained on the scene. The officer sustained <laughs> minor injuries and was taken what, to hospital. Are they let somebody drive? You can't drive there. This is the largest Mifflin Street block party since the pandemic. Okay, now let's go to another right. news source. All right. Yeah, yeah I feel like... See you. No porch collapse? I'm shocked. I'm there dis- was. Oh, there was. Yeah, but they didn't mention it in that one. I'd be disappointed if 80, yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 kids didn't go flying through the air with the greatest of ease. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to highlight that. Let's see. I need gunfire. If I get... Oh, no. 
Free alcohol. Dude, I completed my bingo. Porch collapse and car fire. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's a, that's... Uh, police fire and EMS responded at home on West Mifflin Saturday when the front porch partially broke. All right. Okay. Thank you. Um, I needed that one on the bingo card. Yeah. I'm not, I, I do not have a horse punch. So when you think of uh, Mifflin Street, hey, let me ask the question I ask every year. Hey, it started as an anti-war protest in 69. Yeah, totally. And I think... Were people pretty cool? And then it got bad. Then it, then it kind of got better. Yeah. Because uh, when you were protesting the Nam, uh, yeah, they weren't they weren't burning cars, were they? No. I've seen pictures, and and by the way, back in the day, dude, there used to be twelve thousand people down there. Yeah, there was about ten thousand. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. More than ten thousand people flocked to West Mifflin Street Saturday for the biggest party of the year at right. the W Madison campus. All right, cool. Yeah, it is kind of weird because the anticipation of uh, uh, terror always amuses me. Like it's a horde of zombies. They're going to drink all day and then go look for fresh brains, you know, after a day of day drinking. Yeah. It's never that. But the car, what are we flipping a car for? I don't know. You could probably do without that. I don't know. There's that weird mob mentality that happens. 100%. I mean, do we know whose car got flipped? Yeah, they have a GoFundMe. <laughs> it's premeditated. Some dude that needs beer money. Oh, no, it's definitely not. They oh, no, reached their goal. Really? Yeah, my name is Raina. I'm a student at UW-Madison. I'm raising money because on Saturday my car was destroyed. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh. I'll give her five bucks. I parked my car in a lot and was most worried about getting a ticket or my car towed. Instead, oh. I came upon my car in this condition. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed by a mix of emotions, and the lack of support here in Madison is infuriating. <laughs> I assume she's over 25. Um, I don't know. She's a uh, student. so. Oh, she is a student. Oh. Yeah. She probably got a parking ticket for parking uh, upside down. I know this city. Mayor Satya was probably out there writing a ticket. Let me see. He destroyed her car. Yeah. That's not cool. That's not cool. No. Is there? Is there? Uh, is it still open? I'll, I'd like to send her five Yep, bucks. it's still open. All right. Will you help me with that later? You want me to give you five bucks to give to her? Well, you can. I was going to. Oh. Well, how do you know how you do it? How do you do it? You Venmo or something? <laughs> Write a postcard? What do you? <laughs> I don't even know what you do. Yeah, so you just hit donate now, and then like I have a GoFundMe account. All right. So it's all already in there. Oh, you 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 preload a GoFundMe account? No, I just have one, so all my information is in oh, there. So it's okay. easy. I can just hit donate, and it takes care of me. All right. So yeah, here it'll just go through my PayPal or whatever. Fair enough. Yeah. Ah, uh, I feel bad. Hey, is anyone out there doing the tip GoFundMe services? Let me know, because I never tip, and I don't know. Should I feel bad about that? Should I be tipping GoFundMe? What do you mean? It has it right on there when you donate. What do you mean? You tip the, the company GoFundMe? GoFundMe has a 0% platform fee for organizers and relies primarily on the generosity of donors like what? you to operate our no, service. No, no, no. No, no. From what I understand, they take a percentage on top of whatever is donated. Am I wrong? Um, the only fees taken out are for credit card processing. Well, that could be a lot. Do they get a cut of that? No. Oh, okay. So now they GoFundMe wants a tip. Uh, two point nine percent payment <sighs> processing fee. I would rather drive five dollars down and give it to. Uh, this says go. F- oh, I don't know about that. A thousand dollars. If there was a thousand dollars raised through ten donations of a hundred each, GoFundMe would collect about thirty-two dollars. Okay. Well, that's pretty good for doing nothing. But I don't know that that goes to them. I think that's just processing stuff. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because have you noticed, like, you go to local restaurants now and they will they have it posted. Why like, don't a fee. Why don't they thump the dude's cranium with a billy club when somebody's flipping a car over? Why are you, are you trying to get canceled? Well, I, I 
What do you do if you see someone, if a group of people is so, trying to flip a car so, over? So what are, are you as a, a person going to do? No, I'm not saying me. I'm, I don't have a billy club. The cops have a nightstand. Oh, right. Well, she is. She's pretty frustrated with the MPD. I would be really frustrated. Yeah. So the cops are standing there going, well, we don't want to get our asses kicked by the 10,000 people. We're just going to stand here. It's better just let it go and let the insurance worry about it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty lame. Am, am I the only one that thinks the cop ought to thump heads? Were how were they? They had to have known it was happening, right? <laughs> that car. Or was it too late? I mean, that car. By the time the cops got, they're going to total that car. Oh yeah, for sure. That body is. You'd have to take every panel off of that car. Yeah. Man, I don't know who's 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 uh, who's got an opinion on the Mifflin Street car flipping situation. Do you do you pump the? I don't think you pump the brakes on the party, but why don't you have a uh, an elite team, <laughs> right, ready to thump heads? And why why is the car flipping a thing when we get a big group of people together right or is mifflin street just mifflin street so that's just what we but what, it also happens one, like you one see, car car has to be you know like the super bowl victory parade right. there's a car that gets flipped yep you know whatever hockey championship uh you name it any sort of massive protest and cars gonna, are getting flipped we must sacrifice that Toyota Corolla to the gods yeah. of, of Mifflin Street. And how do they pick which car they're going to flip? That's a great question. Smaller, it's a smaller compact. You know? Remember we uh, when I lived on Doty Street, um, about <laughs> six of us picked up that lady's VW and moved it down the street. Yeah. We didn't destroy it, didn't hurt it, didn't scratch it. But we picked it up and moved it, and uh, her reaction was priceless um, because she uh, called the cops. <laughs> uh, anyways, um uh, but flipping a car, I mean, we're talking about um, way, uh, way over the top behavior. Yeah. I mean, isn't that why I pay my taxes so the cop thump heads when they're trying to flip my car over? Yeah. I mean, I hate to sound like a freaking old boomer guy on the radio, but you, <laughs> are you supposed to leave town? Now you can't park? Now you can't park somewhere? And, and, and stay in your house? Was she the only car in the lot? I don't know. I, I mean, not that it met. I'm just wondering. I wish I would have put flip car instead of car on fire. I know. You were very close. It was so close. No, Are you sure no police horse got punched? It did, I could not find a story about that. I don't think... Uh, I feel like in this city, over the years... Is a couple of homers observing the malfeasance going on at Mifflin. I feel like it's not us, so we don't care, and it amuses us. It's like, oh well, you know, we we as like you shouldn't, you should have left town, should have got a hotel, <laughs> shouldn't have your car within three blocks. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm. If you're on Mifflin Street, should you expect property damage? And why wouldn't no, you? Why wouldn't you steer your insurance company to the city lawyers and say, "Look, gosh, nobody stopped ten drunk assholes from flipping my car over." I mean, it's not like you know this happened in an abandoned parking lot, right? In you know, out by the airport, there had to have been people that seen it. <laughs> there were ten thousand people there, right? I don't get that one. Nobody cares. Yeah, what is uh, there was a quote here. I guarantee you, when somebody started seeing a car get flipped, everybody ran to the flipping of the car. You know, like the, don't you think? <laughs> Hold on a second here. Uh, I have a great quote. All right, so who is this from? Madison Police Central District District Captain Mike Hansen. Okay. Um, as far as keeping the Mifflin crowd under control, Hanson says they use the Madison method. <laughs> Smoke a joint and kick back and wait till it's over. <laughs> we try and assess the crowd early by engaging with them. That's called the Madison method for how we engage with any crowd or protest. And that's it? 
The underage drinking is hard to miss on Mifflin Street, but Hanson says his officers are focused more on safety than handing out tickets. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if there were three cars flipped? What What do you got? What's the What's the over under? Five cars? Listen, the medicine method. We're gonna go talk to him about it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I feel like when I get a ticket next time in the Beltline, I'm gonna say, officer. I. I feel like you're not using the medicine. I feel method. like you're overextending <laughs> your your. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer the Madison method, if I could. (laughs) We know that we're not going to arrest our way out of everything here, Hanson said. Well, can we just keep the car flipping to a minimum? (laughs) It was success, success, no cars got flipped. Uh, We just have to keep an eye on the others that get out of hand and sometimes act foolish. Open containers, glass bottles... Being obnoxious, we address those behaviors more so than being the beer police. It is weird uh, because it seems like when I when I think of Mifflin Street, we you know we recap this every year, and you know all the stations will be talking about it. And, yeah. Oh my God, I'm gonna get a tizzy. It it all seems like everybody. It's it's it, it's pretty tame when you realize it's ten thousand people. There there is right that many people maintaining control and just getting snit faced into oblivion. But then when you start tipping cars, you're like, wow. Why? Right. Why? Why? <laughs> what time of the day was it? Do you know? It doesn't say. We're going to flip a car before 10 a.m., dude. Mm. Yeah. I, I, uh, man, I, I, you know, it's so funny because, I, you know, I go to these, you go to a rock festival or a country <laughs> festival. And everybody gets just wrecked, you know, and Mm -hmm. boobs are flying and everybody's having a good time out drinking Mifflin Street three to one. Nobody's flipping cars over. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how it happens. I get the city lawyer on. I thought I had the city lawyer on the phone. I don't think so. Yo. That's Wisconsin. You know, you're going to. Gonna get drunk, get the cow, a car, you're gonna flip it over. It don't matter. <laughs> that's that's it. Oh, Something must we, be tipped. We've been overthinking this. <laughs> it's like uh it's like uh Tommy Boy. But what you do is you get down on all fours and you put your shoulder into the shank. Now tip right over. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just like that. What would John Belushi say? I don't know. Togo! Do they, I, does anybody I do think recreate? It's relatively, you're right. for that many people. That's a minimum amount of arrests and being booked into Dane County. Eighty only, people. Only six people were booked into the jail. Right. So, uh, so you just get in a written. Do you know how much a, a beer ticket is? An open intoxication. Yeah. Would that be over the sidewalk? Would that be into the? I don't know. And can you not? I just wonder if they're IDing people. Anyways, I, I mean, I don't know. Bucks. I don't know. I'm I'm cool with that until you got to pay uh, insurance. <laughs> mm-hmm. All the people that pay insurance are like, no, down with Mifflin Street. Uh yeah, I feel bad for the girl, but she got her five thousand dollar goal. So that's cool. The GoFundMe link is up on the. It's it's funny because I can't tell w- if that K O W. I can't tell if that car is new or used because it's destroyed. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming it's. She's just. She was just asking for five grand, I think, for a down payment on a car. So she did the GoFundMe, or somebody else did? Uh, she, it looks like she did it. So yeah. Well, if she upgrades, gets her insurance <laughs> check and upgrades yeah. to a like a like a nice. Uh, I don't like a. Equinox or something from General Motors. I hope she parks another block away. Well, yeah, I mean, I I think it's unreasonable for to expect people that live down there, you have to move your cars for the weekend. That's kind of crazy. What was her name? The one with the GoFo? I think it's Raina. We ought to start a yearly. What? Anticipatory. GoFundMe in Rena's name. Oh. The the first annual. <laughs> Rena. 
Oh, there's definitely footage. Wade just sent us some. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, my God. It's not Piss River, but there's Beer River for sure. Yes! My card is kicking ass. Wow, I'm just, I'm irritated just watching this. I don't even have to hear that. But see, you know, my... <laughs> Minus the car flipping, I mean, uh, it's pretty good. It seems okay, you know. Yeah. You know, besides, you know, people on a deck. I mean, that's that's your at risk. Your your you know, that's like no lifeguard on duty. People in trees, man. I wonder how many people got an STD that day. An STD. You think there was some boinking going on? Oh yeah, dude. No kidding. Should I put that under sexual assault or is that consent? That's consent. It's different. Um, have you ever got uh, uh, f- car flip effed up? No. Okay. No. I'm trying to think if I've ever. I'm just... going to bed, dude. You know, at that point, <laughs> I'm going to bed. If I <laughs> see our clock is, you know, our clock start. We do tailgaters. It's at first Bloody Mary and shooter at eight a.m. You know. Uh, yeah, I'm usually done at three o'clock. Yeah. So that's, I don't think right. car tipping starts till dinner time. No, dude. I mean, what if the owner of the car was there and he comes out and goes, Hey, uh, officer, it's my car. How about it? How about you start to, how about uh, we uh, fire a warning shot off and see what happens? Madison method. That is not the Madison method, dude. <laughs> Sounds like a birth control move. The Madison yeah, rhythm method, Madison method. That's fantastic. Christ Almighty. Why have I never heard of that before? Um, I don't know. That's the first an, time I heard in, of it. Internal terminology at the right. at the police house. The Madison method. He's going to regret sharing that. <laughs> don't overstep your boundary, sir. I prefer the Madison method. I, I pay my taxes here in Dane County. <laughs> And by the way, do you, do you know who I am? You give me the Madison method, it clunks me on the head. <laughs> <laughs> you don't qualify. I heard you talking about us. You don't qualify. Hi, how's it going? Hey, there's a story on 27 News about that this morning. What's yeah. They showed the video. They showed the video of it flipping the people flipping their car ah, over. And uh, were, were, was it isolated or were there a lot of people around the flipping of the car? Well, I w- I wouldn't say there was 10,000 people there, but there was, yeah, there was quite a few. Okay. And how do you, what, somebody, somebody video, oh, video Oh, there's the it. video of it. Yeah. What is your take yeah. on, on the standing by and watching the car get uh, destroyed? If you're a, 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 a drunk college student or a cop. No cop. Oh, oh thumping. Yeah. It's like a free reign to thump people. That, like, that, what? Uh, you're destroying property. Yeah, I, what are you doing? I think you'll have the support of the crowd if you thump the six assholes on top of the car. Yeah. I mean, it looked like... I mean, I most... mean they flipped that car pretty quick, but it looked like the roof was jumped on, kind of crushed in a little bit, and yeah. then there was like a handful that were flipping this baby. You know, over, you, you, you know, like it's a, a bunch of kids that never had to pay for anything their own damn selves. Yeah. You know, well, the... she does because her mom said that she pays, she has a job, she pays for everything to go to school the car on her own she needs her car to get across town and she can't walk to w- walk to work where her job right. is she has to drive there right so she needs this car yep and that's the people that get was, screwed like, over down crying not during during the interview it's yep. like really what kind of car was it did you see what kind it was i'm gonna call my like a- i'm gonna call my dudes at berkstrom and have them set her up with a sweet deal and you're it's a looks like a dodge yeah yeah, yeah. She, yeah, it's a maroon colored car. It's all I've seen. But. All right, man. Have you ever been uh, f- uh, flipping car effed up? No. I, th- I laugh and I'm, I talk too much and <laughs> laugh a lot when I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, brother. I don't want to mess up at all, <laughs> man. I'm laughing and having a good time. Right. Yeah. And it's just that I just get this feeling that it's just people that have never had to buy stuff on their own. They've never had to work hard for stuff. It's a bunch of kids whose parents are paying for everything and whatever yep. else. Yeah.
I mean, with this video, I hope they can identify a few of the guys I mean, guys that did it. And you know, I, I there's something to them. there's always this conversation about why are people in, in Wisconsin so nice? I hear this a lot. I hear this a lot. What's the secret up there? Maybe it's our Scandinavian background helping each other, being nice, lending a hand. Yep. It goes against everything oh. the Scandinavians believed in. That's true. And before you hang up on me, if you're going to go to Ishanala, you got to be there half an hour to 45 minutes ahead of time before they open. <laughs> I'm telling you, once you uh, no, if you're in, if you're standing dude, in line outside for half an hour, you I know. get inside, you hit one of the gazillion bars they have, have right, some right. old fashions, and then you get a table right. pretty quick. I mean, but you get there even an hour after I, they open, you may as well turn around and leave. I Listen, I appreciate it for the beauty it is, but I'm telling you, when there's 8,000 people waiting to have dinner on a deck, I'm not amused. It's too many damn people waiting to have oh, yeah. dinner. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like I said, you better get there early. He's or got the go. method, yeah. It, the Ishnala method. The Ishnala method. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You get you can sit there so long and get hammered, you forget you were hungry, and then just drive home. Like I'm just full of wow. cherries and oranges. <laughs> I'm full of cherries. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't take long to polish off some old fashions there. I can guarantee you that. Yeah. Yeah. Those so things go dude. down nice and smooth. I know, bud. Replay today: the JJO Morning Show podcast. Get up with Johnny and D. J.J.O. Tell me your feelings about hot dogs. Uh, I do enjoy uh, the hot dog. Mm-hmm. Um, I like my buns lightly grilled. That's for damn sure. Jesus. And I will take... That's s- Windsor AF, dude. <laughs> but they're my little dad apron. What's the apron Randy wears when he grills? What's it, what's it say? I saw that last summer. Oh. It's a dad griller or something. I can't remember. What I don't know. I don't remember. I'm the grill daddy or something. Oh, geez. Weird. God damn. <laughs> like, dude, could you get any whiter? Uh, man, give me that hot dog and sauerkraut and ketchup and watch me go to work. All right, buddy. How about you? Okay. Well, hot dogs saved a guy's life in Omaha on Friday. Well, with the tornadoes? Yeah. No kidding. Uh, PC2, a, a NATO destroyed his house, but he was out buying hot dogs at a <laughs> gas station when it happened. So random. Uh, here's a uh, Jason fella talking about it. You know, I was at the gas station getting hot dogs, and uh, <laughs> it saved my life. So hot dogs saved my life. You know, count your blessings. Be glad there's no fatalities in the neighborhood, I heard. And family's safe. Stuff can be replaced. But family's everything. Dude, if there's not a hot dog maker all over this dude oh right now God. as the new spokesman for Here's your opportunity. Ballpark Franks, I have never seen a primer opportunity. Unbelievable. Yeah. See, I think about that stuff, too, though. Like, Yeah, Oscar Mayer ought to donate. Yeah. 50 grand of the effort, you know. 30 seconds can make such a big difference. Oh, sure, sure. You know, I was listening to Dateline, uh, and this girl got taken. And if she would have left the house five seconds later, five seconds earlier, she never would have crossed paths with this guy. Like, it's so, it's uh, wild. Oh, yeah, huh? man, sure. The timing just, man. Yep, yep, yep. And he was just at a hankering for a hot dog. Well, I'd give him a lifetime supply of hot dogs. Yeah. And buns, steamed buns. How many hot dogs do you think you could eat in your lifetime? How many have I eaten in my lifetime? No, how many do you think you could eat? If you were given all the hot dogs you could eat in a lifetime. Man, would I? And then some Ozempic to go with it. (laughs) What a impossible situation. (laughs) I'm just staring at the hot dog going, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, No. Uh, how many hot dogs can I eat? As many as they give me, I guess. I mean, I boy, I like. I, I'll tell you what I like. Um, don't underestimate the the boiled hot dog. I know that sounds oh, yeah. elementary and sad, but man, do I like a boiled hot dog. Do you think you could eat a hot dog every day? Y- yes, I could. Could you eat two every day? Yes, I could. Three? I guess. Four? I try to stop at four. Okay. People. <laughs> people. <laughs> People at the uh, at the A and W going, man, that boy's got a bottomless pit. So if you ate four hot dogs no. a day, man, don't you look Coney Island, dude? God dang it, man! A W does a great Coney Island. I used to, I grew up with eating those as a kid. 
So if you did. Okay, here we go. Here's the hard number. Four hot dogs a day, every day for a year. And then you were like, the, like your lifetime of hot dogs was 20 years. You're putting down 29,200 <laughs> hot dogs. <laughs> oh, all that. All that. Nitrates. Sh- all that chili powder <laughs> rumbling around in my stomach. Ah! Uh, it looks good on paper. I mean, I, I don't know if I could pull it off. I, man, give me a bag of Lay's potato chips and a... I could probably do one hot dog a day. Or a Funyun and a hot dog a day, I guess I could. Some days I could probably do two. I don't think I could do four hot dogs a day. I think that's... I mean, if I didn't eat breakfast and I ate a dinner every day, I guess I could eat hot dogs every day. Yeah. Uh, I could eat sushi every day. I can eat Italian every day. We had, uh, what do we have? Uh, we got DoorDash from Noodles, that Japan, oh, yeah. Japanese noodle pan. Japanese pan noodle. Oh, my God, was that delicious. Yeah. With that steak, uh, you know, cuts yeah. in there. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. What's that stuff? I could eat every day. Uh, I used to have it all the time back in the day. It's kind of tangy, kind of. Oh, uh, tangy. Uh, Heinz 57? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's box. I can eat box. Oh, uh, a box of Heinz 57. <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, hot dog. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't even have a favorite hot dog. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess a grilled hot dog would be the best. When's the last time you roasted a weenie on a fire? A very long time. You know when they I couldn't split, even tell you over they, a decade when they probably. Split open and oh man, come on. You know what's sad? I probably couldn't even tell you the last time I had a hot dog. So when you guys go camping all the time, you don't roast hot dogs? No. Ah, that's amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Avery don't eat no hot dog. So then it'd just be me and eight wieners. And I already went to college. Oh, my. <laughs> my ultimate fantasy. No, we missed that train. No, that's that train's left the station. Yeah, it did. Uh, <clears throat> How else do you like hot dogs? What about a microwaved hot dog? I, yeah, don't, I don't mind that. I'm fine with that. I I, b- boiled is, or on the roller thing at the gas station, yeah, probably man. the best. I mean, you know? for real. Get yeah. a little relish up on there? Yeah, for sure. Just go to work, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, okay. Hello. Nothing like a hot dog after birdie in the ninth hole makes your way to the tent, Johnny. Oh, dude, that's what I'm talking about at the Oaks. Great plug, dude. They make a great dog at a chip basket. Thank you very much, sir. That's the groundskeeper and chef at the Oaks Golf Course. Where the hell? We just had a hot dog. It's all coming back to me. We were at a pretty nice restaurant, and we ordered a hot dog because it sounded good. I can't remember where the hell we were at. Like a gourmet dog? Yeah. Ooh, and it was tasty. I remember where you were? Nope. It'll be a minute. I can't remember. Well, the next time you see a storm clouds forming, look for a hot dog stand. That's right. Go think, and get your hot dogs. Think hot dogs, bro. Hot dogs save my life. Hot diggity dog, I'm living. The JJO Morning Show Podcast with Johnny and D. Listen, rate, subscribe. Catch a new show every Monday through Friday, 6 till 10 a.m. on 941 JJO or streaming anywhere in the JJO app. Johnny and D, nowhere but JJO.